Hello everyone and welcome back to the new Jamaica Broadcasting Channel. Today we will be taking a cruise back in time with Mr. Gilbert Bailey, otherwise known as Mas Benji, who was one of the Doreen bus drivers back in the day. Now let's take some time to hear what Mas Benji has to say. Greetings viewers, I'm here with one of the iconic bus drivers from the Dorian bus fleets back in the day. Sir, could you please tell us about yourself? My name is Gilbert Bailey. I was born and grew in Brandon in Clarendon in the year 1945, the second day of February. I then, after growing up, I then leave to several places like Prospect in Clarendon, Nathan in Clarendon, where I spent five years. Then I worked at a farm in Chapatan, known as Dance. I worked as a supervisor in the cane department. I was there for five years, and then in the year 1977, I migrated to Craft City. And there I spent the rest of my days until now. In the earlier years of my life, I have heard about the Doreen bus. Please tell us younger folks about the Doreen bus fleets and remind the elderly folks about it as well. Well, the Doreen bus fleet, as far as I know, started running about the year 1968, running one bus to Maypen for a period of time. They increased their fleet and started running to Kingston. And thereafter, a few years after, they began running to Falmouth in Trelawney. Well, in the year 1988, December, I joined the staff at the Dorian Bus Company, driving a bus from Craftsville to Falmouth until about the year 1996. That was when the bus stopped running. Okay. We live around, in Cash, you know, we live off the main round by an housing scheme we call round the Marriott. Mm -hmm. And the round that way, you know, the passengers have to walk about a mile or so, uh, to catch the bus in the morning. At all, a Sansan, right? I hold by Sansan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, therefore, you now, after we start driving the bus, every morning, he said to himself, if, if people, I mean, most of the people in come from around here will pick up in the morning out by Sansa. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, might as well come for them because it's too hard to work and sometimes bus left some of them, all the teachers they were going to school, bus left them sometimes. So I think it will be quite all right to come for them in the morning. So every morning we drive around and pick them up and in the evening when we come back, whosoever will see out there, we carry them right here. Mm -hmm. so, from that, you know the people and still love me for that. Okay, so question. That means uh, you have a bus a year then? Yeah, man. I was, so, the, I was the only driver down the way carry one bus at night time. Really? Every night, me drive my bus come on. So, what makes you interested with the bus and make you park your bus a year? Yeah. You don't know, you know. <laughs> I don't know because I'm a big man and I drive out, drive out, keep the bus up and down. Yeah, yeah. Me love me carry on the bus at night time. Because okay. in the morning it is a pretty hard to walk down there. Mm -hmm. So I love to drive it home every morning. Okay. Yeah, but that's, uh, uh, I've been two guys who work with him, man. One we call him Clive, one we call him Barry, the name Sylvie. That man <laughs> make it the bus nice and clean, man. Yeah. When you go in there, what? So him did the second? He, 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 did, he was the second, and Clive was the conductor. Okay. Clive was the conductor and he was the handyman, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So every day when we reach Falmouth, mm -hmm. Sylvie take him, he, he carry a bucket with him. All the while? All the while, he have a bucket with him. 
and I go reach for him. Meanwhile, me I catch me like a sleep in my in my wash bus man. Mm -hmm. And come back home in the evening again. If him see like a dust on the bus in Rubia. Eh? And if we reach, if we not get to do that in the uh, like like in the night now. Mm -hmm. We wake up early in the morning and use the words and turn up down and watch the hours of the bus. All is a pair of a clean bus. We don't get a dirty bus. I see him say, if you go for true, man. See, we don't get a dirty bus. Mm -hmm. Clean bus. So, anyway, people want to go for a trip or anything. Yeah, they're ready for a clean Benji, bus. Benji, they ask for. They might tell you, they might tell you, I go and have a bus we want. Mm. Because two that the bus so shiny and pretty, man, and it's not broke down, broke down. Can we carry it? Okay, so yeah. you, you, ever see, you ever go down the go look back on the bus them where you used to drive? Well, from the left of the bus, you see this, you know? Eh? Sell it to a man named Ginger, you used to run from, from, from Mac to Kingston. Okay, that's at the right after the whole thing stopped. Yeah. Oh, so that no, the money... No, it stopped. It's silly before when everything stopped. Eh? Sell it to Ginger when he stopped driving. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so after you, you guys stop, um... The whole bus system, um, the whole during bus system, who take it over? You know who take it over? Nobody will take it over because CD, CD get sick and dead after, so that's where everything starts. Okay. Mm. Man. So one whole legend, one whole legendary bus system. Gando. Gando, you drink the fire. Gando. Because there must be two buses himself. You want to be that driver and one more. And you said them stayed on the right. Stayed on the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it look like someone have to come up with the boring the during bus two point oh then man. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to start up like a business then man. Cause right now to be honest, right now I feel like somebody at least want to try to go back down the memory lane. Because honestly, I don't think persons enjoy life like how they used to back in the days. No sir, no sir. And up to now, people love me for that, you know. Because mm. the other day, I'm a teacher talking to man, any way you want to go, I'm happy to you. <laughs> because I remember days, even in those days, mm -hmm. when you used to drive a bus, a man in time, you come right away, get to it, that's key. Mm -hmm. And you carry one in the evening time. Mm. Which no. So them sit down and wait for you to tell you. Every morning and wait. And if evening come and them up there. And mm. nothing carry them down, they might wait for me to see them wait. See them wait. And I carry them over there. Okay. Man, that's good, man. Mm. Mm. Up to now, I see some miles, some, some youth on the road, man. With them, with them like, I go to school in those days. Mm. And they said, man, I, some of them don't remember them. You don't remember them? Smile. And then go up now and I don't even remember them. But they remember me and say, man. Mm. Me hear about you every time, every time, you Benji. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you You could have stepped in on any man, be done go sleep. Everybody, <laughs> two people love me down there. Eh, mm. eh. Mm. Eh, so, all right, I remember one day, you know, this is a road where it is very narrow, very mm. narrow. So, they don't trust any or anybody to drive there. Mm. No. And because one of the during bus in turnover down there one time already because it's really it's like what scale is because he might you know, have a load up with passengers and he might give one little car pass mm -hmm. and, he, and him take it back take the bottom side. Oh and he must roll over the load up with the people. Mm -hmm. Nobody got hurt though, right? Yeah man, we got somebody dead funny. Really? Mm -hmm. Meet up down there in the bus. Mm -hmm. We just pull up back to the top the top side and pop. Yeah, make them pass make over them next pass side. Over the Makes that, sense. I have a heavier load. I have a heavier load and the, and the road code is that mm. the heavier vehicle have the right of way up or down. Up or down the heavier vehicle. So if I have my road code book mm -hmm. and pull over to the top side all the way and make me pass on the left. On the bottom side. I mean, I take the bottom side. Which is right. One evening I was coming from far And when we come and sent around for a Benson town. A truck was coming, the truck empty and the bus load. Mm. I pull over to the top side and tap. The bus man no decide, the truck man no decide to drive, drive on the bottom side. Park and say, him in now move. He said, okay, me now move like that, throw your turn as well. And when he said, throw your turn as well. So you down there will love me, man. You then go up in the side of this side. Mm. And when you start healing some rocks to the truck. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> When they start, they go rock smooth for the truck. Hey. <laughs> they have flashy man, go get that truck and have <laughs> man, uh, they take no, off, move, eh? they no move, they match up the truck fine, fine. Man. Oh, yeah. 
And the youth they love me up as in that bad man. Mm. But for a truck driver, him should have known better too. Yeah, of course, he should have known better. Passenger me a carry, you know. Exactly, so that's better a lot of life at risk. Yeah, I will for life that man. And me go, me, me always have to pull to the top side and park where I. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, carrying so many people, so mm. many persons mm. at, at a day, mm. have you ever feel nervous or anything like that? Never. Never? Never feel nervous because I like it. Okay. And, and people, you were very skillful. Yeah, sorry. yeah. And people trust you were me. very confident. People trust me to drive them, but they don't say me no drink, me no drunk. No, oh, you don't drink and then some, especially for the job. When you tell me to drive, you tell me to go on one beer, you wait till me to reach home. Oh, you wait till me to reach home? Yeah. Which is right? We drink one beer, I work for one beer sometimes, and I work for me to take it, make it a little thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, which is right, man, which is right. When we come on, if me want that drink, I go buy it. Mm -hmm. So, I drive for the job. I drink for the job. Which is right, man. So, is there anything else um, as it relates to like even the truck drivers? You encounter a lot of truck drivers yeah, on the road back yeah, in the day. Yeah, big old long trailer, man. So, as you can see now, you know, Especially down at um, Lydersville. You drive that side regularly too? Or you don't drive that side? Much? No, we never drive that side just during the old days. Okay, uh, so. I just run, we just go to Kellitz, mm -hmm. Bensington, mm -hmm. Clearmont, mm -hmm. Senna's Bay. Mm -hmm. We reach Bay and we are in the main to Falmont. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like I'll open a Kellitz. We know it's very narrow even mm -hmm. till this very day. Up to this day, yeah. How you manage the entire day? Man, you me not me no coward, you know, sir. You no coward? No, I was a skillful driver in this place. Very nervous, you have a lot of nerve, man. Okay. I'm a man who boil roots drink, you know. Hey, I boil roots drink, man. Eh? You know, man. And all I do, if I'm me a driver that I bust the mass, I'm a con car because I'm in a past certain places. Hey! Some breed a orange bag and mango box. Mm. We carry up on the bus stop there and load up the people inside. Mm -hmm. Remember one morning when we load it, it up, load, load, load. So tell me we reach at certain point where that place in call I'm on the money veil. Mm -hmm. And when we stop in our group of people, people and look up on the bus stop there and say, Me, we are going to find this morning. <laughs> I said, load the bus to the room. Picky there would know what to say. When you see bus load up high there, mm -hmm. and as long as the inside of the bus full, mm -hmm. you're firm. You're firm? Yeah, can't turn over. Okay. You rock all the whole lot, though, you know. Yeah, man. But if you know how to drive it when it's a rock, you can't mm -hmm. can do it. You, you, you make your rock two times. Mm -hmm. Go down, come up, go down, come up. And the time it go, go down the third time, well, you'll give it a hell. Oh. You can't turn over. You turn over this sort of fearlessness. Okay, because to be honest, if, if, you try, if you try to drive it out the first time you rock it, you turn it. Yeah. First time you rock and I come back up, you try to drive it out, you turn it. Okay, because you make it rock two times. As come up, go down and come up, and then the third time you lose your out. Okay, because as a young boy, you know. <coughs> I used to see them bust the rock, nothing on. You know, like, even when I see them, I used to take bank in, you know. The way the maraca come around the corner, too. You know. The experience driver can't turn over. <coughs> okay. Turn over. So, have you ever been in any accident? Never. Never? Since driving the during was it? Never been in an accident? Never answer a question the accident. Really? One time, one time now, we touch a man. And the man stopped suddenly before me with the load. And we press the brake now. Mm -hmm. He just creep and touch him back. Oh, so it was nothing not major. My fault, my, my fault, and nothing major. Okay. Never answer a question the accident. Okay. I took me up off. The, off the, only, the only thing we pay for a quote already is speeding. Speeding? <laughs> one, and from, from a period at the one time, you know, go back. Okay. You know, go back a quote, you know, speeding. Okay. So you follow the speeding limits. Mm -hmm. Speed mm -hmm. limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 speed limits. Mm -hmm. And not by far neither, but 45 and 30 miles. Okay, that don't fall. That, that's not by much, man. No. Mm. 30, 45 and 30 miles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Bailey, what do you miss mostly about driving the Dorian bus? Well, good experience out there, waking up early in the morning, going to the bus here, the bus garage, take out the bus. 
and driving with those heavy loads down the hill and people and the passenger them singing good songs and some of them sometimes all want to testify upon the bus when they feel good <laughs> going down them hills. Yeah. Yeah. And I buy to gear them off. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. gosh, man. Uh -huh. The worst yeah. part of it is like there was mad drivers on the road and they want to show to you, say, oh, man, you could come off of the road and things. Yeah, but so they tell you that you yeah, know. What I mean? Yeah, man. So, but I never feel in my mind. But right now, the people them still love me out there, the passenger them. Mm. And they have good relation with them, man. Okay, based on the persons that I remember you from them too. Yes, yes, yes. I in school children. Mm -hmm. I enjoy driving the school children them man. Because when we start driving bus, all of them bus where they used to carry the school children, most of them from, from Claremont down to Senate Bay, Lime Mall, and all them places there. When you even come there, I think no bus beside Doreen man. I mm -hmm. enjoy driving with it because of the court, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Mr. Bailey, what is life after driving during bus? Yeah, I was becoming lazy, sitting down at home. <laughs> so I went back to my farming, uh -huh. which I enjoy so much. Uh -huh. And that is what I do up till now. Up till now? Okay, but Mr. Mr. Bailey, I don't know, he has a lazy man, you know. So, that is light news to me. <laughs> I was getting lazy because not waking up like I was again. Uh -huh. and sitting down at home, not doing anything. Mm -hmm. So I just go back to my farm and start to fly over again. And I mean, never really put me leave it out for, for good. Mm -hmm. While driving bus, every week I take a day and go to my farm. And I always have someone working for me. Okay. So you just take it up back full time? Yes, yes, I just take it up back full time. All right. Is there anything else you would like to share with, about the bus system? Well, in those days, the bus system was very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Because you, were, you never have a lot of taxis on the road and so. Mm -hmm. And you never have so much drivers on the road. So, coming, in, you're coming in from here you now to St. Town to Falmouth, mm -hmm. it was very good. Was I good. enjoyed it. Okay. And if I was young again, mm -hmm. I would go back to driving bus. Okay, you really enjoy it. Yes, I enjoy man. it and I love it. Okay, that's awesome, man. Awesome. Well, Mr. Bailey, I do thank you for your insights on the Dorian buses and I appreciate you for your time. Please have a good one and trust me, you, you have done a lot for a lot of persons about the place, you know, in Crofts and Clarendon. And, Trust me, I, I know that they do remember it. And thank you for the insights and sharing with us younger persons. Because, trust me, my two sisters, the way of them brag about the Dorian bus back in the days, I, I wanted to catch a ride, but I'm gonna stop it before my, my time could have come in. So, never get the privilege to eh, ride on the bus. But nonetheless, we thank you guys for your services and we really do appreciate you guys for what you have done. Right now, people still love me for that, you know. Still love me for that. And for that reason, uh -huh. going out there right now, a lot of people who have eaten on the road, they're not left me. They're not left me. They're not left me. Because they said, they remember when you were driving the ring bus, mm -hmm. and you carry we all around, all around. Yeah, you're not left them either. I'm not left them. I'm going to whole thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're on the only Jamaica, we're going to whole thing. People always request that we drive them. Yeah. I always request that I drive them because they love the bus I drive because I was clean and nice. Yeah. So I enjoy right. it very much. Alright. So thank you again for your time. Mm -hmm. And do have a good day, alright? Okay, sir. Alright.